Hi friends, what is up? It is Tina here. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. I've had the last three days off of work, so I've been having a lot of fun, just lazing around, playing some video games and ordering takeout, but it is time to start the week again, yes. So I thought I would try and at least stick to my New Year's resolutions at least a little bit. So for this week, I'm gonna be cooking at home as much as I can, and I thought I would bring you guys along to show you so I'm not gonna talk too much let's just get started showing you guys what I ate in a week yeah so as you guys already saw I hard-boiled some eggs I cooked up some bacon and I'm just throwing them both on my salad along with my Greek feta and oregano salad dressing and then I have my lunch for the day So it is now time for my favorite part of the day, which is dinner time. And it was kind of cold outside on this day, so we kind of just felt like having something warm and comforting and yummy. So I decided to make a tofu sundubu, I think they call it. Um, in English, it's just like spicy tofu stew, pretty much. So I'm just starting out by washing and cutting all my veggies and meats. I'm not gonna go too in depth into this recipe because we have a whole week of foods to get into and then we'd just be stuck here all day. So if you guys do wanna see a full recipe of anything I make in this video, please just let me know in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. But for now, we're just gonna be a cooking dinner. So once all the prep work is done, I'm going to be stir frying everything except for the fresh veggies and the tofu in with just a little bit of vegetable oil and Korean red pepper flakes. Then once that's fried off for a couple of minutes, I'm going to add in my water or you can use uh, like chicken broth or anything you have laying around uh, that would probably be even tastier. But yeah, once the liquid of your choosing is inside, uh, we're gonna let that boil down for maybe about eight, 10 minutes here. And then you can add in the rest of your fresh veggies, um, let that boil down, add in the tofu, and then just crack an egg right on top of everything. And then your dish is done. You have a very delicious tofu stew to warm you up on a cold winter day. errands to run today I look like a hot mess um, definitely did not have time to cook breakfast this morning so I just ran to the drive-thru to get a Starbucks um, strawberry coconut drink one of my favorites probably not the healthiest but yeah that will be my breakfast for today so for Tuesday's lunch, I actually just had leftovers of the soup that we had yesterday and I didn't think you guys needed to see that because it would be pretty boring. So we're going to jump straight to dinner time, which I was very excited to eat on this particular day and you guys will see why because it was super delicious. Once again, I didn't write down the exact recipe I did, but it was so delicious. I think it was one of the best things I've ever cooked and Noah definitely agrees with this. So I might actually do like a separate video um, of this dinner if you guys would be interested in that. So Noah and I actually went out and got this really nice piece of salmon from the store and we decided to cook it up with some green beans and just some other green veggies we had left in the fridge. But yeah, the salmon turned out beautiful. The crust on top was very crunchy and added tons of flavor. Let me tell you guys, I think I will be thinking about this dinner for a very long time. So because Wednesday was a work day, I decided to keep it simple today and I just had the same salad that I had for Monday's lunch except for I added another egg and I just fried up some green beans to eat on the side just because I was a little extra hungry on this day. And after this, I was off to work. 
luckily I work at a restaurant so I do actually get to eat some of my meals there on this particular day I had satay beef um, pho soup now if you guys have not tried a Vietnamese pho soup yet I highly suggest that you do because you're seriously missing out on some flavor so on Thursday, Noah and I decided to wake up super early so we can make a nice breakfast for ourselves. Um, I know in the beginning of the week I said I was going to try and keep everything healthy, but <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was thinking saying that. Uh, clearly you guys can see I kind of gave up on the uh, health aspects of everything a while ago. Um, so I'm loading this with cheese, more cheese, and uh, you know, I did try and throw in some veggies in there. As you can see, there's like a spinach, but yeah, we just had a super chill morning and then we just watched some cartoons while we ate our breakfast. And because we made such a huge portion of it, we actually packed up the rest of this and bring it to work for the day to eat that. So yeah, that was our food for the whole day. It was super delicious. No regrets. <laughs> y'all it is finally friday so we got a late start to our day so we didn't want to be too extra so we woke up and we made a bunch of these um wraps these bacon wraps so we could eat them throughout the day and i was super super excited for today to roll around because we actually decided to leave our house for once yes i know very different for us um obviously with covid we can't leave too often but uh we were we just needed to be out of the house today so we went to get some bubble tea from our favorite shop downtown and then we took a short walk through the city just kind of looking at all the pretty lights and yeah that was everything for friday evening Right, so you guys know the drill this is a realistic what I eat in a week so for supper we just had these mama noodles with a tuna salad sandwich which was super yummy and I know the bowl looks super disgusting but it's uh, it, it was one of the creamy noodles so no it's not just a dirty bowl it's the noodles okay guys all right so we finally made it to sunday which is the last day of this video and i hope that you guys have enjoyed coming along with me so far this is the first time i'm doing a video like this so definitely let me know how you think i did in the comments below so by this point we had a bunch of sad looking veggies left in the fridge so i thought it would probably be best if we just cooked it all together and tried to make like a vegetable casserole out of it uh, we're just gonna cook the vegetables in it we're gonna season it and I'm gonna coat it in some very yummy breadcrumbs. And then we're just gonna throw it in the oven until it's golden brown on the top. And yeah, that is our vegetable casserole. It was super delicious. And it was a perfect way to get rid of all those vegetables we had left over. And yeah, that is the end of my what I eat in a week video. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.